Welcome to the channel, it's all new, and today we are reacting to you. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to our Super Directions Units, I'm Corbin. I'm Ashley. I'm Rick. And today, we are reacting to a trailer. Follow us there for more juicy content. So juicy. Um, we are reacting to a trailer that came out, I believe, like a month ago. But since we didn't have this channel, uh, you haven't seen it yet. Nope, it's called The Irishman. Ah, I'm are you, excited. Are you aware of it? The only Irishman that comes immediately to mind is Corbin Miles and Stephen from Braveheart. Well, this has Al Pacino. Oh. Oh. Robert De Niro. What? Oh, yes. Robert De Niro. And yes. And I believe Joe, Joe Pesci. Pesci. And it's directed and Scorsese's by Scorsese. directing. Now I remember. And it's a Netflix film. Yeah, did you? No, I didn't know. You didn't know about this I didn't project? Know. Yeah. Uh, uh, we, we, we knew this went into production, like, we knew about this two I didn't years ago. Know. Uh, yeah. Bring it on. Here we <gasps> go. Hello? Hey, my friend, I got that oh, kid I was talking to you about here. Iconic voice. I'm gonna put him on the phone and let you talk to him, okay? Hello? Is that Frank? That's yes. Me. Hi, Frank, this is Jimmy Hoffa. Glad to meet you. Glad to meet you, too, even if it's over the phone. Our friend speaks very highly of you. Thank you. Only three people in the world have one of these. And only one of them is Irish. Huh. I heard you paint houses. Yes, I do, sir. Where are you going? Go to work. Well, you know, there's a situation going on now, Frank. Big business and the government, they're trying to pull us down. We might be demonstrating a failure to show appreciation. I know things they don't know I know. You can't miss the big picture. Sooner or later. Everybody put it as a date. He's gonna go. You wanna be a part of this fight? Would you like to be a part of this history? Yes, I would. Whatever you need me to do, I'm available. He likes to talk, don't he? First of all, did we obviously we didn't need the trailer. Any, yeah, we're gonna see. Oh no. Any one of those people's in a movie we're in. We will watch it. And, and, and Scorsese's, all three of them. I know, and Scorsese's Yay. directing, I'm in, so I don't need trailers. You don't need anything. It's just a throwback to old Hollywood. Oh, it's so... And I'm old Scorsese. Old. This yeah. is Goodfellas, this is... And my suspicion, because this is one of my favorite things about Martin Scorsese, is he has never rested on his reputation. He has mm -mm. always done what he does because he's so passionate about this art form. Mm -hmm. he, is, he is the purest of directors in that he... I mean, he's the guy who created the beginning of the, the preservation of film. Uh, and creating an actual yeah. library to preserve film that was dying and decaying. <clears throat> and uh, to, to see, and I know all of these guys are gonna come knowing full well what everybody's expectations are. Oh yeah. The weight of what everyone oh, expects also, of them. Great job Netflix putting out some I know, insane, I'm like, yeah. Uh, we just reacted to the, the King. The King. Which looked really You haven't seen that. Uh -uh. Timothy, you want to see it? Timothy Chalamet, Timothy Chalamet. Uh, Joel Edgerton, uh, 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 Robert Pattinson. Yeah, and, uh, and uh, Rose Depp. Billy Rose Depp. Uh, it's, the, it's the telling of, of King Henry V, but not Shakespeare's telling, the historical telling of the actual king. So it looks Ooh. like Game of Thrones ish, actually. Very. Uh, and so Chalamet like, plays Henry V. Obviously, Lee. they're having to put a bunch of money into their own content because yeah. they're going to lose yeah. everything. Yeah, but they. <laughs> they I remember when Netflix, th when we heard. Netflix went nuts and greenlit 200 series. Like I said, we want 200 series. And I was actually talking to somebody yesterday who's actually pitching a series right now mm -hmm. with Netflix, and I, he's going into their second meeting, and I said, good for you, that's the right place to be because 
Netflix was smart. They knew all of our content's leaving. Yep. We've got to create our content. That's what Amazon's doing. And we, they've not only been doing it, they've been creating spectacularly good content at every level. Their TV series and their films, Usually they're becoming... Because they had that one with Idris Elba, that one you like, got nominated for an Oscar. Yeah, well, the, and last year was Roma. Beast of the Nation, yeah. yeah. From Roma. And the one, the one bone to pick that Spielberg is one of the most vocal about it is if you're going to if you're going to be doing something that's competing for the Oscars, then you have to have theatrical releases that last more than seven days just so you qualify. Make a bona fide film. Yeah. That you release into the theaters as a bona fide film, and I get that. I don't. Uh, Emmys or TV. Well, I get that, but this is... Uh, you Oscars or film. Yeah, I get that, but you can't base it off just because you're from old school Hollywood. Hollywood is changing, and it's True. all going to streaming. So you can't just say, this is not a film because it didn't go in theaters. It's a film. No, no, it's... it's you, 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 that, that's the line. Even though it's, even though it's evolving and changing, the, 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 you're, you're, you cannot replace the experience of the motion picture in, well, I'm not, in a movie theater. I'm not saying you can, but uh, you also can't disqualify a film for just releasing on streaming. Yeah, that, for me... That's it, how it's making its money. <laughs> but that, that, uh, that's fine, but f I'm, I'm with Spielberg in the, in the purest in of the art form. form. No, no, no. It's a purism of the art form in that if you're releasing something just for television... It's not television. It's a film. It's just you watch it on your TV. That's a television script. Okay. So most people don't go to the films and movies anymore. So which is sad. Most don't people like. don't go to movies anymore. If you look at numbers statistically, yeah, that's 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 correct. That's probably true, actually. Yeah, but look people. at the numbers of uh, outside of Endgame. If you yeah, go like of, numbers mm -hmm. for people that actually go to theaters is except for way major down. releases of like the it, Star Wars so, movies, Avengers, those kinds of things. The reaction is over. <laughs>